What's up guys, it's Sava with SOS Kitchen and I'm finally back with a new video showing you how to make your own show-stopping chocolate Nutella babka. Sorry it's been a while, I've been busy with work and life and you know. But here I am, finally ready to show you this new recipe that I'm so excited about. This babka is honestly one of the most beautiful things that I've ever made. I think it's perfect for this holiday season. You know, you can take it to gatherings or give it as gifts. Not only does it look beautiful, but it also tastes delicious and it will make your house smell like a freaking Nutella wonderland. I'm so excited to take this and share this with my friends and also with you guys. So let's get started because we got a lot to do. The first thing to do is to make sure our yeast is alive. In the bowl of a stand mixer, pour in some warm, not hot milk, your yeast, and some sugar. Whisk it together and let it sit for a few minutes until the yeast starts to look foamy. That means you're good to go. Add in half a cup of flour and mix it together again and let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the mixture looks big and fluffy. Once it's nice and kind of poofy, add in your sugar, eggs, vanilla, freshly grated nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Using your stand mixer with a dough hook, give it a little mix. Pour in the butter and a half a cup of flour and mix until the flour is totally incorporated. Keep adding in the flour until you've added it all in and just make sure that you kind of scrape down the bowl of the mixer uh, between each addition to make sure that it all gets in there and all gets thoroughly mixed. Once all the flour has been mixed in, knead your dough for another five to eight minutes with the mixer. Then turn it out onto your work surface and knead it for another two minutes by hand until the dough is really nice and smooth and springy to the touch. Lightly oil it and put it back into the bowl of the stand mixer, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it rise for an hour or two in a warm place or until the dough is doubled. While your dough is rising, make your streusel topping. In a bowl, combine flour, powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, and some butter. I started trying to use a fork to cut this all together, but honestly, your fingers work so much better, so just smush it up until you have clumps that have formed, and then set it aside until we need it. Once your dough has doubled in size, punch it down and cut it in half. While working with the first half, keep the other half covered so it doesn't dry out. Now we're gonna roll this into a big, thin rectangle. I like to start my dough in a rectangular-ish shape and then go from there, kind of moving it around and pulling it at the corners to make sure everything is even and somewhat rectangular. Once you have a big thin sheet of dough, go ahead and spread on your Nutella. I like to spread it quite thin so it doesn't overwhelm the entire bread, but you know what, do what's best for you and just spread the Nutella all the way to the left, right, and bottom edges. Leave about half an inch of free space at the top. From the edge nearest you, start really tightly rolling up the dough. I realized after my first couple rolls that I'd forgotten the chocolate chips, so I added them and just put like kind of a light sprinkling over everything and went back to rolling. The tighter you get your roll, the better the babka will look with more swirls of Nutella, so really try to get it nice and tight. Pinch together the free edge of dough and then use your hands to make sure the whole roll is an even thickness. Put the dough onto a cookie sheet and pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes to chill. When the dough comes out of the freezer, using a really sharp knife, cut it in half lengthwise to reveal those beautiful layers. Lay the two pieces of dough in an X shape with the cut sides facing up. Starting with one half of the X, twist together the dough, keeping the cut sides up. Then do the other half. Pinch the ends together to keep them in place. Quickly and with no fear, transfer your babka into a loaf pan lined with parchment. You can rearrange and kind of fluff up your babka once it's in the pan. Top the babka with half of the streusel mixture and then make the other babka. Cover the loaves with saran wrap and let them rise for another 30 to 45 minutes until puffy but probably not doubled in size. Then put them onto a baking pan and put them in the oven. While your babkas are baking, make your sugar syrup. Melt together some sugar and water over medium high heat, stirring until the sugar is fully dissolved. Then set it to the side. When your babkas come out of the oven, immediately brush them with the sugar syrup. Don't go light here either. Really make sure it's well covered and try to get that syrup to soak in a bit. 
This sugar syrup will not only make the babkas look beautiful and shiny, but it also helps to keep them fresher longer. Let your babkas cool completely before cutting into them. It's gonna be really hard to actually wait until they're fully cooled to cut into them, but you really should. Though these babkas seem like they have a lot of steps, I mean, honestly, they do. Uh, I don't think they're that hard, and I think they're totally worth the effort to give to your family and friends and share. Um, it's just such a beautiful bread that I think is great for a celebration. These babkas turned out so amazing. They not only look great, but they also taste delicious and they make your house smell so amazing. Please enjoy this bread with your family and friends and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for cooking with me again. Bye.